<laughs> but I can just YouTube and just do it. Cause you're gonna go on the field by yourself. You can't take the performance coach with you. So I just YouTube a lot. <sighs> Listen, like I met Le'Veon Bell yesterday. And I'm like, whoa, I'm gonna definitely get strong. I'm gonna definitely get smarter. Listen, Lil Wayne put 484, it was officially 483. Mm -hmm. So I gotta tell my dog Lil Wayne to put 483. Love this dude right here. Joining us right now is the high, highest drafted Jets defensive player in over 50 years. He ran a 40-yard dash faster than J.J. Watt. Oh. The third overall pick in the 2019 NFL Draft is right here on GMFB. Please welcome friend of the show, defensive lineman. And check this out. Let me give you this nugget. He got Heisman votes last year hey. as a defensive tackle. My man is a monster. Quinn Williams! Oh. <laughs> What's up, Q? What's up, man? I'm chilling, man. Appreciate you joining us. Hey, listen, yeah, man, you started man, your first you career that, game man. on Sunday. Yes, sir. Uh, you started your first career game, and you had some big run steps up against Zeke. What was it like to get out there and get the first win as a starter for the Jets? Man, it was amazing, man, just to see everybody come together, man, just to see the whole defense in general. Um, play together, execute together, man. It was just amazing to feel it, man. Just to be on the field with guys like Zach Martin, man, like Ezekiel Elliott, Dak Prescott, man. It was amazing, so. It was amazing to watch, Quinn, and we are so excited to talk to you this morning because not only were you back, Sam Darnold was back, the Jets were back. For anybody who wasn't there, give us, a, give us an idea what the vibe was at MetLife, on the sideline, the juice, the mojo, whatever you want to call it. Tell us what it was like to be part of that win against the Cowboys. Um, it was amazing, man. It felt like felt like like a time came that everybody put it, everybody's um, problems aside. Everybody just did what we were supposed to do, man. The offense was rolling, man. The defense was rolling, and that's how it's supposed to be, man. That's how we wanted to be. That's how the standard we wanted to be, and that's how it's going to be. So. <laughs> Q, you were drafted third overall, and after you were picked, mm -hmm. you had this to say about a certain number twelve up in New England. Let's listen. <laughs> Tom Brady the GOAT, man, and uh, anytime you're going to get somebody that's great at Tom Brady, it'll be a, a, amazing to put his sack on your resume. Okay, so he's the GOAT, and it's amazing. Put on your resume. No more Mr. Nice Guy. He's your opponent on Monday. You, you missed the first time you guys played against him. What's it going to be like looking across the, the line, looking over his lineman, and seeing number 12 taking a snap from center? Uh, it's going to be dope, man, just to see that in general, man, because everybody knows Tom Brady the GOAT, man, just to be on the same field with him, man, is an honor and just blessed, man. But I got to do what I got to do, man. I got to execute. I got to um, control him. I got to make him try to win the game and things like that, man, just the defense in general, man. We all come together and try to be a dominant defense, and I'm going to try to be a dominant player, and the whole defense is going to try to be a dominant defense against him. So it's not really what I'm going to do. It's really why I got to do my job and play inside the scheme and do a great tell me to do and just go out there and have fun man Quinn I'm gonna have to go to that game Monday night or up against the Patriots you talking sacking mm -hmm. Tom Brady gotta be there you're making your impact on the field and off of it you're an ambassador for the NFL's crucial catch campaign and the American mm -hmm. Cancer Society in the fight against cancer how has it affected yes, your life directly um, it's amazing, man, being an ambassador for Critical Catch and American Cancer. Um, man, it just impacted me so much because my mom passed away from breast cancer. So, man, it just, I feel like I was blessed to be in this predicament, blessed to be in this situation just to um, set a set an example, man, set a statue, use my statue to set an example for everybody else out there that with breast cancer and things like that. And just like the kids and other athletes that have parents who are going through the same exact thing, man, that they're not alone so it's just an amazing opportunity to have the I'm thankful for Critical Catch and American Cancer Society for even giving me the opportunity. That's awesome and speaking of that recently you were at the ACS mm -hmm. Hope Lodge in Manhattan and you had a surprise gift for one man mm -hmm. diagnosed with gastric cancer. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. On behalf of the NFL and American Cancer Society I want to present you with two tickets to this year's Super Bowl in Miami, Florida. What? Oh my goodness! What? No, you guys. It's great stuff. Now, what was it like talking to patients yeah, yeah. like Alan Smith, the man we saw in the video, and hearing their story, and, and them meeting you as well? 
Mm-hmm. Uh, man, it was amazing, man. It was an amazing experience just because, like, my thing growing up, my mom always told me you never know what somebody else is going through. So I always try to put a smile on your mm-hmm. face. And I always keep going because somebody having a way worse a day. And there's different people like that, man. Them guys, them people in there uh, at the Hope Lodge, man, them guys going through chemotherapy and a lot of other things that they going through with cancer being uh, a part of their lives and stuff like that. And they always got smiles on their faces, man. They always enjoy it. And me being a person that people want to see, um, like, he was a huge Jets fan. And, like, he just, like, oh, my gosh, you're quitting And I'm like, man, you way stronger than me, man. You beat cancer twice and things like that, man. I just salute you and things like that. So it was just amazing to see, to put smiles on people's faces and just um, give other people opportunities to enjoy this football game that, like, I enjoy. So That's the good stuff, Quinn. You know, I, I look at a guy like mm-hmm. you, young, big personality, big city, you got a little money in your pocket. There's a lot of things that you could do with your time, a lot of ways you could spend your free time. Why is it so important for you to be part of the Crucial Catch campaign? Why do you choose that? Um, it's very important, man. Just like I said, like my mom passed away from breast cancer, so it affected cancer itself affected my life uh, and tremendously. A uh, huge part of why I became the person I became, or uh, why the reason I play this game is for my mom and things like that. So it's a lot of people um, that's going through the same thing uh, that don't have a person like that's in the NFL, have a person they look up to, an uh, actor or a musician or things like that. They can say they've been through the same exact thing, and now I'm in a predicament where a lot of people look up to me, a lot of people look at me as like a celebrity or famous or things like that. So to see uh, that my side, that I've been through something like that and something other people going through, it's just amazing to get to reach out to these people, to get to talk to these people that um, about real life stuff instead of just the celebrity life or the, the famous life or being on TV life all the time. So. It's amazing, Quinn, and we appreciate all you're doing in the community. You know, before mm-hmm. you were a Jet celebrity, there was a guy named Joe Namath who was a Jet celebrity, yeah. and you had the opportunity Broadway to meet him Joe. this summer. <laughs> Broadway yeah. Joe. You got to hug him. It was caught on online. Yeah. Everyone loved it. It went viral. <laughs> what was it like meeting Broadway Joe right there at training camp over the summer? <laughs> Man, it was crazy because it was my first time ever meeting him. And I hear all the stories about how he was at Alabama, the University of Alabama, where I came from. So to get a chance to really meet him, it was like, bro, like you Broadway Joe, like, like you the you the swagger of New York City, so and like to see him like still still with the same swag at the age he got now, it's just amazing. So that's good stuff, man. Hey, Quinn, and listen, uh, Broadway Joe might be the swagger of New York City, but you're the future of New mm-hmm. York City. Thank you so much for joining us, man. You're a cool dude. Can't wait to see you continue to do your thing. You know what? If you do get this sack, I should say. When you do uh, get uh, this sack uh, on Tom Brady, yeah. I'm going to need you to do a little dance, all right, fam? Okay. I got you. I got you. I'm trying to get it. That's what I'm talking about. Just for, Save it. Just for the future. <laughs> just for the future. I seen DeMarcus Ware and uh, I believe it was DeMarcus Ware and Calais Campbell talking about. No, it was DeMarcus Ware and Fletcher Cox talking about sack celebrations because Fletcher Cox got like a bad sack celebration. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to work on mine. Yeah, hey, gotta, baby. it's all about branding yourself, baby. Let's do the celebration. Sure. And, and more commercials coming. You know, commercials mean money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but have a good one, man. Good luck this week. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Awesome, man. Quinn and Wonders. Awesome, okay. I mean, he's a rookie, and he's already he's doing all of the right things on the field, off the field. He's an example for all. We are hours away from kickoff. Yeah. This is going to be a good one tonight. Can the Broncos pull off three wins in a row? Is Philip Lindsay going to run all over Kansas City? We'll break down this game from both sides. How's Patrick Mahomes looking? How's mm-hmm. he feeling? How's that ankle? We'll get to all of that. Will Selb is in the newsroom in Culver City this morning with all of the headlines. What's going on? Absolutely. What's going on there, Kay? And guys, well, the Los Angeles chapter of the Jaguars Alumni Club welcoming its newest member, cornerback Jalen Ramsey. Ramsey joining backup Blake Bortles and Dante Fowler Jr. All three players were top five picks for Jacksonville, although no one will dispute that Ramsey has been the most impactful.